Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on my helmet, which is an IRH Equal Pro. So I hope you find this video helpful and you enjoy. So let's get started. So like I said, this is a IRH Equal Pro. I think this is one of their cheapest options that they have. It runs for about $50. Um, I got this uh, from Dover and it is very comparable to the Ovation Deluxe helmet. Some of the features that this has, um, it is a matte finish. It comes in a few different colors. I just have the black. It has a removable visor right here, just the IRH logo right there. Um, there's vents on the sides right here and up the middle. This also has an adjustable dial so you can get a bit of a better fit. Um, and then there's also a foam piece um, for more comfort. This just has basic straps that clip and unclip with a synthetic leather up here around the earpiece and a removable headliner um, which is attached by velcro um, so if you ever need to wash it if you just gets really sweaty or whatever you just take that out throw it in the washing machine it's good and then a bit of extra padding around the head for extra comfort so I decided to get this helmet because I needed a cheap option um, and I was looking at both this and the Ovation Deluxe and I went to Jover and they decided that this fit my head a lot better than the Ovation so of course I wanted safety um, so I went with this. I like it. This is a great helmet if you are just starting out um, and you need something cheap. I personally would go with the Ovation Deluxe, but if this is your only option, it's great, especially for um, just starting out. I have shown in this, um, so you can do basic schooling shows in this. My only complaint with this is I personally can't fit my hair up in my helmet because it's so long and so thick. Um, that's just kind of a personal problem with me. This is the largest size. Um, it comes in small, medium, and large, I believe. Um, and then you can, of course, dial it back here for a more personal fit. And then my second complaint is that it scratches and gets smudges and collects dirt really easily and that just personally bothers me because I am like a perfectionist and I just want everything to be super perfect and clean. Um, so and even if I clean it, it still like collects dust and even like the marks from like the wet washcloth or whatever is kind of still left on there. So it's very hard to clean um, and even if you can clean it, it doesn't really stay clean that well. So um, that is my second complaint with this and um, a big reason why this helmet bothers me. But other than those two things, it fits comfortable um, and it was cheap and it has lasted me for this long. I have fallen it in a couple of times but I have never hit my head um, I don't believe but yeah so this is a great starter helmet if you are looking for one so that's pretty much all I have to say about this helmet and my opinion on it if you have this helmet definitely comment down below what you think about it and if I missed any like key things about it any important factors that you feel like I missed please leave them down below I would love to hear them and definitely let me know what helmet you recommend and you would suggest if people are looking to purchase one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I'll see you in my next one.